With the Axiom Pro, you can play sounds on up to four MIDI channels simultaneously from the keyboard using the zone buttons. These allow you to create stacks, splits, and layers of your sounds from your multi-timbral hardware or software instruments. Let's see how that works. I'm going to start by pressing the Zone Group button. When this is illuminated, these four buttons can be used to enable any combination of zones. Let's start with Zone 1. I'd like this to be set to my acoustic piano sound, which is on channel 1 in my MIDI module. So I'll press Edit, then the number 4 from the numeric keypad to access Zone Edit Mode. From the Range page, we can define the keyboard range for each zone. You can play the keyboard to set the lowest and highest note, or use Rotary Encoder 5 and 6. I want the piano to sound across the entire keyboard, so I'm going to play the lowest and highest note on the Axiom Pro. Pressing Data takes me to the parameters for the selected zone. Currently, the MIDI out for Zone 1 is set to Global. I'm going to change it to Channel 1. There's my acoustic piano. By default, zones 2 through 4 are set to channels 2 through 4. I have an electric piano on channel 2, a pad on channel 3, and a bass on channel 4. To create a stacked sound, all I need to do is simultaneously press the zone buttons for the sounds I want to combine. That's okay, but when I play up high like that, the pad sticks out too much. I'm going to limit its range so only the piano will be heard in the upper register. Hit Edit, go to Zone, make sure that Zone 3 is selected, that's where my pad is at, and then simply play the lowest and highest note I want for that range. That's it. Now I have the pad where I want it. Let's assign a slider on the Axiom Pro to adjust the pad volume. Now that'll give me a little more flexibility to blend it in with my piano. I'm going to assign this to MIDI controller 11, press exit. Okay, let's take this a step further and assign one of the encoders to adjust the filter cutoff on my pad. I've already done a little homework, so I know that the external sound module I'm playing uses controller number 74 to adjust filter cutoff. Of course, every MIDI instrument is different, so be sure to have your instrument's user manual handy when you're programming controller assignments. Let's hear how this sounds. Nice. Now, whenever I want, I can quickly combine my piano and pad and dial in the mix for whatever kind of song I'm playing or maybe layer an acoustic and electric piano. It's a great way to use zones in a live setting.